A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a... And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And it's a crucial encounter for them because the worst-case scenario today is that they'll miss out on the knockout stages here at the European Championship. It's Spain against Italy. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such a big game for them. Lose today and they're out, no doubt about that. So they have to play better than they did in the first match, which was a big disappointment, really. They're certainly going to be anxious here. And teammates to play it to. And cleared away. Well, real concern for the home supporters, and I say that because things haven't gone to plan during the group stage. They know full well that they find themselves in a bad position and could be knocked out of the competition here in the group stage. Yeah, they need a big result today just to give themselves a chance going into the next game. They've struggled so far, they've been really poor. Chiesa. The ball with Chiesa. That's useful play. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. A concession of a corner here. Going short. Sending it in. Not the most confident clearance. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. <laughs> Distributing it well. And they deal with the threat this time. <laughs> Federico Di Marco. The ball with Chiesa. a promising avenue of attack but the momentum has been halted you wouldn't be surprised to see they can't hand it out and a yellow card it's going to be Stewart yeah the ref got that right it's a yellow card all day long well, straight into the meat of the penalty area Kukureya. The ball with Rodri. Ball back with Italy now. Varela. Pedri.
referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Good distribution. A very effective clearance. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. This is looking threatening. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Keeper under pressure. Mm -hmm. Another tough slide, but what will be an Italy throw? Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Can they produce something? He is up. And able to get a body in the way. Can they forge ahead? And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw in. Matteo Damian. One minute added on at the end. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggles to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half Two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. And off the pass that time. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far, and as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Shifting through the gears, Alvaro Morata. That's a very fine play under pressure. Section. Rodri. Wasted possession again. Buongiorno. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Rodri! Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. Delighted that you're with us and hope very much you'll join us for this match coming up. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Nacho Fernandez. Now moving the ball impressively here. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Federico Chiesa. Di Marco. 
and a really good run. And a fine reading of the situation. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Fabian. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Pellegrini. And on to Di Lorenzo. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out. And it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, no surprise there. He's a little bit upset, isn't he? Conceded by Italy. Just ten minutes to go. And getting the ball forward. They're looking cross. And there was impending danger, but good defending. That's eyes for goal. Well, I must admit it didn't trouble the keeper to the extent that I thought it might. And the ball back with Spain now. Nacho Fernandez. It's with Laporte. Brilliant pass. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, nothing comes of it. Federico Di Marco. Federico Chiesa. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Federico Di Marco. And there it is, the final whistle. Just what Spain were hoping for. They have delivered a victory, Stuart. Well done. It was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances. But overall, they just about shaped it. A well-earned victory. Well, Morata served his team well in typical fashion, we must add. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of foot was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.